Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We have some fairly breaking news here as Tomoyuki Sugano, the coveted pitcher coming out of Japan, has just been posted from his league and is now going to have the next 30 days to discuss and negotiate a contract with any MLB team that goes out and shows interest in him. So this is absolutely huge for not just the MLB, but the New York Mets in particular, as Sugano is not your typical pitcher. He's not a relief pitcher or anything like that. He is a starting pitcher that could definitely be a huge target for the New York Mets. So the question is, are they going to go out and target him? That's what we're going to break down in today's video. We're going to take a look at Sugano, who he is, his accolades as a pitcher, everything there is to know about him and the connection between him and the Mets and if something can actually get done. And as always, guys, if you end up enjoying this kind of Mets content, make sure to share with your friends, hit like, hit subscribe, all those great things. Let's help get the word out there here on the channel because this is so new. We've seen tremendous growth already, and I have all you lovely people to thank for it. So seriously, thank you all so much, guys. Check out my previous videos, too. I will have them in the end screen towards the end of this video. But without further ado, guys, let's get right into this vid. Arguably the best pitcher to come from Japan's Nippon profession baseball since Masahiro Tanaka fled for the New York Yankees back in 2014, we have Tamoyuki Sugano. At 6'1", 183 pounds, the right-hand 31-year-old pitcher has been absolutely dominant playing in Japan really since the start of 2014. Sugano is a two-time Sawamura award winner, which is the equivalent to the MLB's Cy Young. Also a former league MVP with a postseason no-hitter on his resume, Sugano has truly been something special in Japan for really the past six years. In 2020, Sugano in 137.1 innings pitched playing in Japan had 14 wins, 2 losses, an ERA of 1.97 and a total of 131 strikeouts and also had a whip of 0.888. The year prior in 2019, Sugano in 136.1 innings pitched, had 11 wins, 6 losses, an ERA of 3.89, a total of 120 strikeouts, and also had a whip of 1.247. Throughout all levels in Japan for the past 8 seasons and a total of 1,362 innings pitch, Sugano has a total of 101 wins, 50 losses, a career ERA of 2.34, and also a total of 1,216 strikeouts and a career whip of 1.035. And just to give you a better idea, a better grasp as to how good Sugano actually is, in seven of the eight seasons he has pitched in pro ball in Japan, he has had a sub 2.5 ERA. And if you're looking at the type of pitches that he usually throws, it's around four pitches, two of them being fastballs, one of them being a four seam, obviously, and the second one being a sinker. They top out anywhere between 90 and 93 on average. Then he also has a really strong curveball and a fork ball as well, with a fantastic spin rate on all these pitches, which is really what separates him from the rest, and he has a fantastic command in doing so. So fantastic, in fact, that when it talks about his walks per nine innings, he, in his career, he's at 1.8. That's remarkable, especially for the tight pitches that he throws between those curveballs, those forkballs. He just has tremendous command and is going to bring a huge new element into the 2020 MLB free agency. Because at the time of recording this, the expectation is that he'll either land for a two or three year deal um, around 10 to 12 AAV. We'll see what happens. If I had to guess, two would make a lot more sense given his age. But if maybe there needs to be that selling point, assuming that a lot of suitors are in on him, then that very well could be the likes of a three year deal upwards of 12 mil AAV. Time will tell, but there's going to be a lot of talk and a lot of interest in a guy like Sugano because he is by no means something to slouch or look over in this year's free agent market. Sugano is so good to the point that he's arguably the second best pitcher in all of free agency now right behind Trevor Bauer, which is saying a lot and it makes you wonder how is this going to affect the market for a guy like Bauer, bringing Sugano into the mix. We all knew the expectation that he was going to be coming over, but now that he is with all these negotiations that are going to be going on for the next month up until January 7th, and, this, and they start at the time of recording this, so it'll be tomorrow, Tuesday at 8 a.m. Eastern time. Time will tell, but this is going to be drastic for the MLB and bring a fantastic talent in the prime of his career. And I highly suggest you look into the fact that the Mets are definitely going to be interested. There's no doubt in my mind that the Mets will not at least take tabs on a guy like Sugano. And I fully expect them to show some fairly significant interest over these next couple of days. 
And my reasoning for that is a couple things. One, the obvious factor is the Mets have had tabs or have shown actual interest in arguably every free agent imaginable this offseason with Steve Cohen and Sandy Alderson in the mix now. Such a great feeling as a Mets fan, am I right? But now they're in a prime spot as well, where if say they don't get things worked out with Trevor Bauer, assuming that they have been doing some negotiations, because I know that they have shown interest, no doubt in my mind, between the YouTube video and everything, that's been abundantly clear. And then you have other guys like Jake Odorizzi, I know that they've been having a lot of ongoing discussions with. Then you have other guys either via, via trade, for instance, I'm not sure if any talks have actually happened there, but there's been rumors, but either Sonny Gray or Blake Snell, those are probably more far-fetched at this point in time, and I'll discuss all those other pitchers in a future video, don't worry. But when it comes to Sugano, he would be a great fit for the Mets should they actually go to seek it, and I really believe that they will because they can he can really be a fallback if you will or say maybe could be their main target now thinking that they're going to be out of the run for a guy like trevor bauer that might be looking for plenty of term and plenty of length when it comes to the actual dollars he'll be making not that that's an issue for the mets anymore but the mets are going to be very strategic and very particular about the type of decision making that they do for the remainder of this offseason and what an element Sugano would bring to the New York Mets rotation. Because as of right now, the Mets are going for at least one more starter and very well could be going for two this offseason. Because when you look at their starters in the rotation, you have DeGroat, DeGrom, the guy in the wall behind me, obviously. The back-to-back -back Cy Young winner, amazing. I can't say enough good things about the man. But then you have Stroman, who signed with the Mets again. And then you also have David Peterson. Then after that, there really isn't anything there. You have Seth Lugo, but he really is probably better suit in the bullpen. We'll see what they do with him. But then you also have Thor, and he's still dealing with injury rehabbing from his tommy john surgery he probably won't be back until summer of next year time will tell but if i had to guess i would probably say around then so he's not in the rotation right away so realistically you only have three actual starting pitchers taking lugo out of the equation so what do you do from there you at least go for a fourth one that's why they're in all these discussions but they very well could go for two and then play everything by year when say thor is fully healthy or whatever it may be maybe they move peterson to the bullpen if that is the case if they go for two more stars once thor is back and healthy i'm not sure but what i can tell you is that the Mets are definitely showing plenty of interest in basically every pitcher out there, let alone every free agent for the most part. And I can assure you that Sugano will be on their list. And don't be surprised within the next week or so to see plenty of interest or many tra plenty traction hitting up between the two teams. And Sugano is going to be talking to plenty of teams. I understand that. But if there's any team that would really draw the interest from um, Sugano's side of things, it has to be the Mets because Steve Cohen has had that kind of impact that has really been drastically different than what we have seen over the past two decades with the Wolpons regime, as we know. If there's any guy that I think the Mets would be best for, it would be Sugano to an extent. Even though he is on the age of 31, he's in the prime of his career, you get him on a two-year deal in this win-now stage, and you can't go wrong, and you wouldn't be giving up too much money in the process either. It really seems like a win-win situation, if you ask me. But I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. So please make sure you do just that. And also make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you ended up enjoying this kind of Mets content, guys, it would really mean a lot. I'm really ecstatic to see what Sugano is going to do, what teams he's going to be negotiating with over this next month, and if he's going to land a deal with the New York Mets. I really think that's a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but the interest is definitely there. I think that's inevitable at this point, unless they truly have, say, a Trevor Bauer and or Odorizzi locked up, which who knows at this point. I just know that they've shown plenty of interest with all these guys. But make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comments below and thank you so much for checking out the Mets channel it means a lot guys also make sure to check out my hockey channel in the description down below should you be interested where I discuss all things related hockey in the NHL overall I have around 2.4k subscribers there so that's the, my first YouTube channel this one's my second because I'm a diehard New York Mets fan thank you all so much again guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below on Sugano do you want to see him in a Mets uniform next season and I'll be back real soon